Think about all of the stuff in the universe, from the particles of dust on your screen to the billions of planets and galaxies you see in the night sky. Everything you could possibly imagine, all the observable matter in the universe, is only 5% of what's really out there. Everything else is dark. A property of most normal matter is that it interacts with electromagnetic radiation, or light. This means that when light reaches an object, it is typically absorbed or reflected. This interaction allows us to detect this matter. Dark matter, on the other hand, doesn't interact with light at all, rendering it invisible. So if we can't see dark matter, what makes scientists believe it's there? It all has to do with another property of matter, the effect it has on other matter in the universe. We call this phenomenon gravity and experience it as pull that the mass of the sun exerts on the planets around it, keeping the Earth in orbit. When any two objects orbit each other, this gravitational pull is what keeps them from flying apart. The faster two objects are orbiting each other, the more mass we expect them to have. In 1933, astronomer Fritz Zwicky noted something extraordinary while studying a cluster of galaxies. He measured how fast the galaxies were moving around each other and used this to estimate their mass. When he compared his estimate to the observable mass of the galaxies, he found that it was 400 times larger. He argued that there must be some missing or invisible mass and called it dark matter allowing them to orbit so fast without flying apart. The phenomenon has since been observed and verified by other scientists in many different galaxies including our own. But this speedy orbiting isn't the only reason scientists believe dark matter exists. Another phenomenon related to mass is that it affects the way light moves through the universe. In a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, light bends around massive objects as it travels near them through space. The more massive the object, the greater the bending. By observing the light coming from distant stars, scientists have measured stronger than expected bending around galaxies, indicating that the galaxies have more mass than we can see, more evidence for this missing matter. So what is it? Well, since we can't observe it, scientists aren't really sure, but there are a number of theories as to what it might be. One theory is that dark matter is made up of massive, compact halo objects, or machos. Machos are very large, up to thousands of times larger than the sun, collections of normal matter that do not typically interact with light and thus are not visible. Physicists observe these objects through other phenomena related to their gravity. Black holes are an example of such objects and can only be detected by the way the light and matter collect around them. Unfortunately, black holes and other machos seem to exist only in distinct pockets in the universe, whereas observations show that dark matter is spread out more evenly in space, so many physicists reject the theory. Instead, many physicists believe that undiscovered particles are what constitutes dark matter. Theory and other parts of physics require the existence of a special group of particles called WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. Scientists expect them to have certain properties, mass and an inability to interact with light, which fit well with the description of dark matter, but since we can't observe them, we can't be certain that they're there. Physicists are trying to detect dark matter through experiments on Earth and observations of the universe, but even with modern advancements in science, we haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what dark matter is. The search for the missing matter remains one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics, and it waits for someone to solve it.